Hey friends, today I have some errands that I need to run and I figured it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me. Gracie's birthday is on Halloween, so I want to get her nails painted and make her look nice and pretty and also get a Halloween costume. I want to head to Epcot to meet up with some friends for lunch. And then also I want to go see the lights at Jeter Bend, the, all the Halloween decorations and celebration. Anywho's, let's go do this. My first errand of the day is going to be right here at Petco. We got to get Gracie her nails painted and all prettied up for her birthday slash Halloween. And she's been coming here from since she was a little pup. And we always bring her to the same one and she kind of knows all the different groomers in there. So she feels comfortable. These are her little pity paws right now. And they were purple and definitely a little bit long so hopefully they've got uh some orange and black ones for halloween what do you think huh yes 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 the only thing i bring her here for is just for her nails to get trimmed and colored she's really good with taking baths in fact she tells me when she wants a bath like if she gets dirty while we're at the dog park she'll run home and just hop right in the tub and you know she's just like okay wash me now and she's really good so i like to come here but when it comes to the paws and the toenails i get kind of nervous so i don't want to cut them on my own look at her isn't she the best such a brave little girl Time to get your toesies all painted. <laughs> Here are a couple of the Halloween costumes for pets. They've got some good ones. They got like a hot dog, a taco dog. They got a pumpkin dog, a bad pet. They've got uh, a dinosaur, a cow. So I don't know, maybe I should just wait though because I do want to get the one that I saw at Disney Springs that I liked a lot. Maybe we'll get her some treats too for Halloween. I do want to get her like a birthday cake from Wolfgang Bakery, which is like a pet bakery down in Celebration. So maybe we'll check that out later. You know, it's like a celebration, but today she should get some treats because she came and got her nails. She was a very good girl. After she gets done with her nails, we are going to have to drop her back off at home because I can't take her to Disney Springs or into Epcot. I wish I could because that would be the best day ever, hanging out in Disney with Gracie. I would love that. There she is. Look who's all pretty. She reminds me of Minnie in her witch's outfit with her little bow right here. And yeah, you look so good. And then look at her nails. Let me see, Papa. Isn't that awesome? They put little black and purple and then dots on them. Yes, you're so beautiful. <laughs> She's been a very brave little girl. She wants her treat now. <laughs> yes, you like that? She loves the pup cups. I think before I try to make my way down to Disney Springs, I'm gonna check out Wolfgang Bakery and Grooming here in Celebration and see if they have any Halloween costumes. And also I wanna get her a Mickey pumpkin dog treat. You know, it's perfect for her birthday slash Halloween. Oh, come on. Let's go look for some treats. Oh, look at this. Take a look at all the treats they got here. They've got pumpkin spice lattes, Mickey pumpkins. They've got skeletons. Oh, here's the Mickey pumpkins. Definitely got to get her one of these. Yeah, she loves the Mickey pumpkins. Look at her. Yeah, you smell something good there? Huh? They've got lots of great doggy bandanas in here. Look at Goofy in his skeleton outfit. And then we've got Mickey as a vampire. And I like these. Actually, I might get her one of these. Oh, I like this Mickey pumpkin one up here. That's the perfect season. I ended up switching things up a little bit and I ended up going with the Mickey pumpkin only because there is a pumpkin patch in town here at Celebration and I thought it'd be nice to go over there and take some photos of Gracie since she looks all pretty with her nails and everything. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head to the pumpkin patch. I feel like I haven't been to a pumpkin patch in such a long time. So this is gonna be fun. There we go. Now she's got her little pumpkin scarf on and right over there is the pumpkin patch. Take a look at this. I haven't been to a pumpkin patch in such a long time. I think Gracie will love it. And it's really nifty. Lots of pumpkins. It looks like they're having a contest in there. And uh, we have a Mickey pumpkin down over there. And it's done by the Community Presbyterian Church here. Are you following Jesus? That is really nifty. Nice little play on words there. I love it. I wonder if she's gonna like the hay. I also like how it's just right in the middle of town. You know what I mean? It's like perfectly centered right in the middle of town. 
right on the corner of Celebration Ave and Sycamore Street across from the SunTrust Bank. And this is why I love Celebration Florida. It's just so nifty that they could just, you know, swing by and you got a pumpkin patch on the corner. <laughs> and I like that sign. That's really nifty. I'm pretty sure Gracie is not a fan of Jack Skellington. Well, run through. Run through. Don't worry about him. <laughs> there you go. Don't worry about him. Come on over. Yeah. We're through him. <laughs> there we go. You like the hay? Huh? Do you like the hay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does like it. Oh, she likes the hay. <laughs> this was also on my list of things to do today. Lay in a bay of hay with Greasy. What? 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 You see that dog over there? Is that your friend? Huh? Who's that? Is that your friend? Who's that doggy? Who's that doggy? Huh? Who's that doggy? Is that your friend? We're gonna go look at some of the cool pumpkins that they have here. Look at this. We've got Dr. Seuss or the Lorax. Looks like a minion right there, but with two eyes. I'm not sure what that is. A ladybug. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> and then we've got an old lady who ate a bunch of leaves. That is from a kindergarten class. We got Jack Skellington, Jigglypuff. Come on, Fifi. We've got Forky. See, these are actually really nice. But Which one is your favorite pumpkin, Gracie? You gotta pick now. Choice is on you. Huh? Which one? I don't think I could ask for a better pumpkin to take a photo with. What do you think, Gracie? You like it? I know you don't like Corella DeVille, but maybe you like the pumpkin. Huh? Look at this well-behaved girl right here. I wanted to come out and take a picture with this. It's like a pumpkin box. And I think it's just so pretty. And she just wants to chill out, relax. I think we got a lot of good photos of Gracie. I wanted to get a photo here because it's so pretty. But look at her. Such a well-behaved little girl, isn't she? I love her. Happy Halloween. I had to take Gracie back and drop her off because I can't take her to Epcot with me, even though I wish I could. And I had to change out my shirt because I was rolling around on the pumpkin patch with Gracie. So I put on my uh, other Roosevelt shirt, but the other one I love because it was Beetlejuice. And uh, I don't think I showed you guys that shirt yet, but I know I showed you this one. And you know, I just love the fancy shirts. It also looks like it might rain for an hour or two. So I gotta grab my umbrella and bring it along with me. I really hope that we're gonna beat the rain before we get into Epcot. Right now I'm walking through Beach Club because I have friends that are staying here and we're gonna go in the International Gateway side and uh, yeah, get some lunch. I'm excited. I always walk along the side of the Beach Club, like by the Beach Club Villas, because it's so quiet and beautiful back here. And also, I have to say, I'm pretty sure that the Beach Club Villas are the closest Disney resort to any park. Like, literally, when we go on the side of here, we're going to step out and be probably 100 feet from the entrance to Epcot. And that's amazing, isn't it? Oh, no. I don't think we're going to make it. I can feel the rain. Oh, look at I think it's happening on camera. <laughs> it's happening on camera. You can see this pathway right here, and this room that is right here is the closest Disney Resort room to the park. You actually walk out this fence right here, and I would say you can walk from your resort room into the park in less than two minutes. Yeah, it's right there. You can actually see the Skyliner, and you can see Ratatouille. Uh-oh, there's the rain. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hopefully the rain doesn't last long, maybe an hour or so, and it won't ruin our plans to go see the Halloween decorations over in Celebration. But I got my umbrella with me, so we're good to go. We can walk right through World Showcase, even though it's raining. Rain drops falling on my head. But, wow, it literally stopped raining in like two minutes. <laughs> How crazy is that? Two minutes. It was like a two minute rainstorm, and I was worried it was gonna be an hour long. Normally, I wouldn't make a video of a day like this. I would just kind of just enjoy it and have fun and not bring the camera along. But I thought it'd be fun to try it out, you know? It's kind of fun. Whenever I do a video, usually I like to just stick to like one subject matter and just stay with it. Today, like I said, I had a bunch of errands and I knew I was going to be hopping around all over the place. A little bit of Petco, a little bit of Gracie, a little Epcot, a little celebration. And put it all together and make like a fun day vlog. 
wow, I tell you what, whenever the rain stops, it gets super crowded out because everyone was kind of just seeking shelter and now they're trying to get from A to B uh, wherever they were going before the rain started. And just look at all the crowds here. Oh, they also had the drummers out. This is my first time seeing them since they left last year. We have to keep moving though because I'm late for my lunch reservation. I just wanted to point it out though, it's very pretty out. Look how crowded it is over here. It's nice to see them actually drawing a big crowd. It is a really good performance and I'm happy that they're back. If you guys like these videos, let me know and I'll try maybe doing some more in the future. You know, not like just like a subject or going to Disney or a theme park or a restaurant. Just kind of uh, what I do in a day, you know? And it looks like we have made it. We're gonna be having lunch at the beer garden. And I always like coming here and I like coming here with friends. And you know what's funny is because I feel like I've probably made at least three videos, maybe four videos in the past year here, but it's always a good time. And like I said, it's better when it's with friends and that's what we have today. We're gonna be meeting up with Jackie and Mark who just got recently married here. If you've seen my video before, we went to the dessert party and just kind of carrying on the wedding festivities for the whole entire week. And I wanted to come over and say hi and make sure we got to hang out one more time before they head out. And that's why it kind of lined up perfect to do this video like this today where I'm just going around and doing a bunch of things that I wanted to do. Even though I've been here plenty of times I do want to give you guys kind of a rundown of what it is you're celebrating Oktoberfest every single day here it's a buffet that has rotisserie chicken all the works spatzel schnitzel sauerkraut and also some live entertainment it's $46 for adults and $25 for children three to nine also, I always like to point out that this was actually supposed to be an attraction, a ride, kind of like in the Mexico Pavilion, but it's a restaurant now that has a gigantic stage. And we to show you. I mean, like I said, I've showed it off before. This isn't going to be like a full dining review. This is just part of my day. Just look how massive it is in the waiting area right here. This probably could have been like the queue. You know what I mean? So the queue would have actually been right here and then you would have gotten on the ride where this beautiful mural is. Now it's time to head on in and then afterwards we're gonna head on over to Celebration and check out Jeter Ben for the Halloween decorations. And I've been wanting to actually go there for a while and Halloween is just like a couple days away. I jumped in and got a plate full already and the next show starts in just a couple minutes and we're actually at the top level because we're kind of in a big party but uh, you get a better view you know what I mean it's actually up higher so you get to see all of the stage basically from anywhere and isn't it just so pretty in here I love coming in here every single time because it just feels like you're in here and it's nighttime of course, it's not a trip to the beer garden without a liter of dunkel, but we're gonna have to hang on to this until the show starts. I already had a little bit, so prost. we get some apple strudel my favorite dessert here at the beer garden I love it honestly I love all of the desserts here the black forest cake the brownies the Bavarian cheesecake the blueberry crumb cake the sliced pineapple I don't even remember that but the thing I love most but the thing I love most is the apple strudel there we go nice and warm gotta put that right there and the vanilla sauce. And I like how you kind of free pour it on there so you can get as much as you like. We're gonna do it fancy like this. That's the way. Now it's time we actually leave Epcot. We just hopped in real quick, grabbed some lunch, and now it's time to head to Celebration Florida for uh, Jeter Ben. But it might be raining, so I better put that back up. <laughs> As we're making our way out, it looks like M80 is actually playing on the American Garden Rocks Theater. And that's really cool, they're a great band.
look at how beautiful Spaceship Earth is right now as well. I'm really loving it. I also like the reflections of Spaceship Earth. The reflections of Spaceship Earth. Now we have officially made it back over to Beach Club. I said goodbye to all my friends and they're probably going home. And now we're gonna head to Celebration Florida, like I said, meet up with some other friends and check out some cool Halloween decorations. For some reason, I have a hard time saying Halloween. So like, if I can like focus on it, I'll say Halloween. But if I'm talking, I'll say Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> And we have made it to Celebration. We're gonna meet up with our friends there in the Celebration Town Tavern, and it looks super busy in here. So I think they have a table already. I already had dinner, but I think they're eating. Maybe I'll just grab a drink, but it's still a great place, and I love coming here. I think he got the meatloaf. Oh my no. God. <laughs> he got the meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab one. So we're gonna hang out here for a second before we make our way over to Jeter Bend, but I am with Promise and Travis and uh, she's never been here before. I am so excited to see all the decorations. First timer. First timer celebration is yeah. pretty awesome so far. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> And since I'm here, I think I'll get myself a nice little pumpkin beer with a cinnamon sugar rim. That's the way to go. And also, no smoking. The hardest thing about going to Jeter Bend is parking because it is very busy over there. It's something really cool, all the Halloween decorations, but I mean, Christmas time is even more crazier. So we're gonna carpool over and hopefully we'll get a parking spot close enough so we don't have to walk like a couple miles. <laughs> Who needs to go to Jeter Bend though? No, <laughs> and this is in your back I'm starting seat. my own spirit store. <laughs> <laughs> when this is in your back seat, that oh, is hysterical. This. Oh, wait, we got more? Oh, yeah. And this, you know, just <laughs> of that nature. That is amazing. <laughs> we are just about there, but take a look at this window right here. <laughs> Looks like we have officially made it to Jeter Bend. I could tell by the hundreds of people standing in the middle of the street and all the pretty lights look at this is something else isn't it look at this guy right here look at this house right here we have the hitchhiking ghost from the Haunted Mansion, and then up in the window there, it's the bride. Ooh, and they're about to play Grim Grin and Ghost. Oh wow, that is awesome. This is seriously amazing. Look at the witch right there. Oh, is that the Headless Horseman? Holy moly, it's the Headless Horseman. And goes, come out to socialize. What? Oh <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> Why haven't I moved here earlier? This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> See the broom? Yeah. Oh. Seriously, this is so amazing here. <laughs> wow. I 
So how awesome is it that they're actually doing the full Hollow Wishes uh, like soundtrack and that makes me so sad because that is probably the thing I miss most. Hollow Wishes was everything to me. I feel like we have to be prepared for the finale of Hollow Wishes, but I want to look at some of the other ones. Look at this boneyard right here. It is so amazing. The detail they put into this, I love it. Ooh, little friend here too. <laughs> Hi, friend. This always happens after I've had such a large meal. Lucky for you, I'm not hungry anymore because you look so tasty. <laughs> cookie, cookie. <laughs> look at the spiders coming out of the house too. Oh, we're getting to the half a lump of Wumsels part. I'm telling you, I think something big's gonna happen for the finale over here. I can see the castle. Like, oh my lord. What have we here? <laughs> oh, I'm really scared. So you're the ones they're talking about. <laughs> when Mr. Daddy Boogie says they throw a close at hand. Third down the charm. Yes. Beetlejuice. 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 Oh, the finale's coming. It's the scream along. My goal is to pop one of these smoke bubbles with the lens. Nope, didn't do it there, but wait right here, maybe here. Let's see, right here. Oh, I got it! You do this one too, right here. We're gonna try another one. We want a big one. There's a nice big one right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, oh boy! Let me know in the comments what your favorite decoration was or if there's a certain area that you like the most. I can tell you right now, my favorite is this guy right here. I love it. Nom nom nom. Cookie cookie. Also take a look at the animal graveyard here. We've got cats. We've got uh, three-headed dogs. Some birds. That is really impressive. Some spiders over here. And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun little adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. It was nice to bring you guys along with me and show you like things that I do on a daily basis, you know? And uh, yeah, it was fun. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. Maybe I'll try to do some more in the future. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.